Welcome to histograms, binnings, uh, and density. So now we will save the file by the name histogram, binnings, and density. A simple histogram can be a great first step in understanding a data set. Earlier we, um, we saw a preview of Matplotlib's histogram function, um, so which creates a basic histogram in one line. Once the normal boilerplate imports are done, now we will do that. Matplotlib inline import numpyers as np import matplotlib dot five plot as plt plt dot star dot use seaborn white data equals to np dot random dot random thousand now plt dot plot histogram data so we got this uh, histogram it's a random and it's different for everyone so now the hist function has many options in tune both the calculation and the display now I will show you another example of a more customized histogram. Uh, start with plt dot data bins equals to thirty normed is equals to true alpha equals to 0 0.5 sorry his type is equals to step filled color is equals to steel blue steel blue now edge color is equals to none So we have this, ignore this uh, as it is just uh, tells you that this function or this program has been renewed or that has been depreciated. So the plt.hist uh, doc string has more information on other customization options available. I find this combination of hist type is equal to step filled along with some transparency alpha to be very useful when comparing histograms of several distributions now let me show you x1 x1 equals to np dot random dot normal zero zero point eight now let me copy that down fill three we'll change this to Three. Now we'll change the numbers. Minus two. Three. Two. Uh, sorry, one. Two. Now here it will be thousand. And now quarks. D I C T. This type gets to step, step filled alpha is to zero point three normed equals to bins equals to forty. Now plt dot X one wargs. We will copy this one. Now we will put two, three, and semicolon. So we have this. Now 
if you would like to simply compute the histogram that is the count of points in a given bin and not display it the np.histogram function is available as well counts bin edges with np.histogram Now let's proceed to two dimensional histograms and binnings. The topic we'll discuss is this. Now, just as we create histograms in one dimension by dividing the number into number line into bins, we can also create histograms in two dimensions by dividing points among two dimensional bins. We'll take a brief look at several ways to do this here. We'll start this by uh, defining some data in X and Y array down from a multivariate Gaussian distribution. Starting off, X and P dot and dumb dot multi period normal call sorry ten thousand okay now a two-dimensional histogram. One straightforward way to plot a two-dimensional histogram is to use matplotlib's pld.hist2d function. pld.hist2d bins equals to 30 cmap blues cd PLT dot color bar CD dot label counts in bin. So we have this. Um, just as with a PLT dot hist, comma PLT dot hist two D has a number of extra options to fine tune the plot and the binning which are nicely outlined uh, in the function doc string. Further, just as pld.hist had a counterpart in np.histogram, pld.hist2d has a counterpart um, in np.histogram2d, which can be used as follows like this. This will be that line. Okay, for the generalization of the histogram binning in dimensions higher than two, See the np.histogram d function. Now we will proceed further. <laughs> 